Welcome to today's 3D print. Um, that might be too much light. I'll have to see about working on that. Um, actually, I can probably just angle it so it's a little more indirect. There we go. That's not so bad. Um, welcome to today's 3D print. I need your guys' help. That's my CR10, and I keep having a failure. The first failure was this. This is a spool holder. Um, it prints like this, and it knocked over. I was actually here when it happened. It knocked it over, but here's something I realized. If you look closely, this is successfully printed. So the hot end dropped into the part and then pushed sideways. You, you can see it's melted in there. It actually dropped into the part and push sideways. You can see the same thing on my um, Sorceress here by Luby. You can see it printed this high. Okay, that one's fine. And then here, it dropped down, melted the end of her hand and melted here a little bit. So the hot, I, I suspect, I know what's going on, but I don't know what the actual mechanism is. And then, sneak preview, I was gonna wait until I finish it to show you, but um, I'm reprinting it now I got this incredible incredible iridescent almost radioactive glow filament that I'm printing Luby's area of the dragon well anyway it failed um, this is me testing the filament it's got a layer bonding issue I'm hoping I can solve but um, if you look closely here this is how high it got but it actually by the way, this is a testament to how well this print and Z surface held up. <laughs> it actually crashed into the side of the model, folded the sidewall. Uh, I believe this is a three perimeter sidewall. It might be just a two perimeter, but folded over the sidewall of the model and began driving itself into the model before it eventually tore it off and knocked it over. So the collision is happening as a result now obviously the model is not going to be lifting up into the print head so the print head must be dropping down into my model but I have no idea why it would do that or or how I would even find out um, my next step if I can't solve this is to set up a dash cam about this high looking at this from left to right so I can actually play back the video later and see what the printer is actually doing. I suspect that that gantry is actually coming down for some strange reason and then crashing into the model, of course. I mean, because the model's not deforming. I mean, that was held on so tight that it actually ground down the side of the, um, the, the, the perimeter of this model. You can see the part that folded over is smooth, meaning that was vertical. That was one of these vertical walls, and it got folded over by the force of the hot end hitting it. So something is going on where, for whatever reason, my, my print head is doing its printing and then it's dropping down. And of course, if it drops down, it's going to collide with the model. And that's confirmed by the melting all being lower than the actual successful print height that it achieved. This one's the most damning, and this is the first one. I didn't even realize it, but you can actually see that the it, inside the print, while it was printing, the print head dropped down inside because the outside's perfect. See? So if anybody has any suggestions on what I can do to diagnose, how I can check this, how I can fix it, what might be causing the problem, it's not the Z-coupler. I replaced that. It's got a new Z-coupler. Um, I don't know. Any suggestions? Let me know.